एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लास सेवेंथ सोशल स्टडीज आई एम शेषमिता एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर इन गुड हेल्थ एंड रेडी टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स टूडे इन टूडेज लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट टैंक्स I hope you are ready. Let's begin this session. Our ancestors have been using runoff rainwater for thousand of years by constructing tanks Cheruvallu. Tanks have been used for agriculture since the time of the megaliths the kakatiya kings built numerous tanks in telangana allowing agriculture to expand into dry areas even today most villages in these regions have one or two major tanks In today's session we are going to take a brief look at the topics How were the tanks built How did the tanks help The decline of tanks in our times Mission Kakatiya our village our tank fishing in tanks cooperative society of fishermen keywords sturdy wall physically solid or thick sediment method that settles to the bottom of a liquid deteriorate to become worse over time or to make something worse concept map How were the tanks built? Tanks were commonly constructed by creating a sturdy wall using stones and mud to block a small stream allowing for the formation of a large lake. These tanks were built by kings, military leaders, nayaks, or the villagers themselves villages typically honored those responsible for building the tank through stories temples or festivals the entire village contributed financially and with labor to construct the tank Villagers collectively maintained the tank by repairing the wall and clearing silt from the bed. They ensured the free flow of water into the tank and appointed a person known as Nirati or Nirukatte Manishi to regulate water usage. How did the tanks help? Tanks provided various forms of assistance to the people. They supplied drinking water to humans and animals, facilitated irrigation for fields, 
and allowed for cultivation during dry periods. They also increased water levels in nearby wells and prevented rain water runoff and soil erosion. The sediment from the tanks was used as fertilizer in fields. It is important to note that the tanks belong to the entire village, benefiting all villagers. Decline of tanks in our times. Tanks have been ignored and left to deteriorate with maintenance work being neglected. Land around tanks have been taken over for housing or agriculture, leaving many dry tanks uncared for. Expensive tube wells are dug deeper, depleting water sources, while tanks benefit everyone by building water resources. Mission Kakatiya, our village, our tank. The Telangana government initiated Mission Kakatiya to enhance minor irrigation tanks. The program aims to clean silt from tank beds and repair of construct tank burns for around 47,000 tanks. Assess the progress of this program in your area, including the number of tanks improved and any benefits experienced by the local community. Fishing in tanks. Tanks provide water for drinking and irrigation and support fisherfall in the traditional fishing communities like Besta, Gundla, and Mudiraj. Let's have a look at the Betavolu village in Suryapet district, located 16 kilometers from Kodara near Suryapet. The village got its name from Betala Reddy, who built the Birala Devi tank in honor of his wife. The tank currently irrigated 1900 acres of land but was originally intended for supporting 3000 acres of land. Illegal encroachments and silting have reduced its command area. The tank bund has shrines of Katta Maisamma and Gangamma worshipped by the fisher folk and villagers before fishing and during annual festivals. Fishes in the tanks Fish used to live in streams, rivers and canals. Due to pesticides 
and chemical fertilizers in farms, they are disappearing. Nowadays, fish are raised in fish farms and released into tanks as young fish. When they mature, they are caught and sold. The popular fishes available in the market are Merige, Ravu, Boche means Katla and Bangaru Tiga. Each fish has its unique taste. Have you tried any of these fishes? Try asking your parents about these fishes. Let's learn about net types. Fishermen use various nets like the Parisha with 30 holes and the larger Sanapuvala and Dodduvala with 60 holes made of iron or lead baits to catch smaller fish and prawns. The Sanapuvala is lighter while the Dodduvala is heavier and used for catching fish weighing between 100 grams to 5 kilos. Let's learn about the fishing time. Fishermen use methods like Visirevala and Kachuvala to fish twice a day from 4 to 8 in the morning and from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. They brave all weather conditions to catch fish which are sold in the market. Any leftovers are washed, dried and sold in nearby towns or cities like Hyderabad. Men fish while women handle the selling. Cooperative Society of Fishermen Families must join the Cooperative Society and donate rupees 2 lakh 35,000 to the fisheries department for fishing. The society buys fish seedlings and shares profits equally among the members. Some fishermen borrow money from traders, giving them control over fish prices due to poverty. If the bank loan to the cooperative societies, fisherman could escape trader control. Conclusion The tanks provided water for people, animals and crops, raised well levels and prevented erosion. In the next session, we will learn about groundwater.